Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Flooded. Now this is a really cool concept. It's like a city builder set on an island, but every so often the, the land shrinks because the water around is flooding. The tide is rising. And now there's currently a demo if you want to play it. Uh, so it looks like we can generate new islands. Ooh, double island. What the hell? We're in Flooded Paris. <laughs> All right, first off, we get to pick a commander. So there's the strategist. Oh, there's the builder with a hard hat. I think that's who we're going for. Yep, okay, we're going for her. She has a passive ability of relocation, which allows you to move buildings. What is his one? Adjacent buildings of the same type work more efficiently. Okay, yep, I'd rather move buildings, I think, if they're going to be flooded. Uh, we also get to pick a relic. This is like a bonus thing. So the diamond pickaxe lets you mine stuff. This one lets you take over a turret and protect it. There's raiders? I don't remember seeing that. And we can set things on fire with that one. What? <laughs> Sod it, we'll go for that one. Okay, so here we go. Calm Ocean. I assume that's like hopefully the name of the place rather than it's going to get rough or something. But here we are. So this is our like central iron mine. Uh, if this gets destroyed, we lose the game. So our goal is sort of to protect it from the rising tide. We've got these over here, which are living quarters. And basically the more living quarters you have, the more miners you have. So we're going to go into mining down the bottom. And then we're going to build a few of those. They cost 250 bits of iron each. We've currently got a thousand saved up. So we may as well build a few of these. So I think we'll do there, there, there and there. So we've got six of those. Now over here, these are the open mine pits. So they get placed on deposits. We've got iron deposits about. We've got some copper up there. Uh, oh, we've even got stones. But top right, we've sort of got like a tutorial -y type thing. It wants us to build wells next because as you can see... Wells produce you 10 water every second or so. And the mining pits, they will they will use up water. So let's build a few of these. I'm guessing we can just do like four down there. So yeah, in order for the mines to work, you can see they're exchanging 30 water for 30 iron. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Right, we've done the four mines. We've got to build two more open mining pits. So if we head back to the mining tab, we've got the open mine pit. So what do we want? We probably want some copper. I don't think we've got copper yet. And maybe some stone, because we haven't actually got stone yet. Thing is, these cost a thousand to make, so we've got to wait for our iron to rack up. Okay, so open mining pits, they don't go on stones at all. Yeah, but they can go on the iron, so we'll do that. Yeah, by the way, top left, can you see this? This is the flood meter. So when that counts down to zero, that's when all your beaches sort of shrink. So everything that is currently sand colored will become water. And you might say, well, what's the point? Surely you're just going to lose eventually. Well, you get some research at some point where you can build like false land. So it's sort of a race to that. Hence, I'm trying to be quite quick about this. And right. So the next few things, we've got to build a warehouse. We've got to build a water tank. So water tank obviously stores water. So we'll shove that there. And then the other thing we need to build is a warehouse. And you can see that stores ore. So if we plonk that down like there, you'll see once these are built, the water storage has gone up to 2,000. And the iron storage is currently 1,000. It's going to go up to 2,000 as soon as it's built, which is right about now. Right, so there we go. And now we're sort of making all the stuff we need. Top right, we are currently in the mining era. If we want to get to the next era, get some new research, we need to pay 2,000 iron. Oh my goodness, 15 seconds left until the tide shrinks the island. So we'll just leave things running like that. Because ready, two, one, here it goes. The island has shrunk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, so these living quarters at the back, they're sort of at risk there. I don't think we've got long to protect them. Uh, but we do have 2,000 iron, so we can click on this button in the top right. And we're in the electricity era. So first off, we have an electricity tab down the bottom so we can build a solar panel to produce electricity and an accumulator to store it. I guess we'll shove one of those there. Nice. And now our next task is to build four solar panels. So we're just going to build four of those. These cost 500 copper each. So I'm glad I got a copper mine going. They're being built, although you can see we're not actually producing any electricity because it's night time. Yes, there's a day and night cycle. Very top left sort of shows you like where the sun is in the sky. So obviously there's no sun because it's nighttime. But if you keep an eye on that later on, you'll see the sun sort of raising and lowering and doing, you know, doing all the stuff that the sun does. All right, next step, we got to upgrade buildings. Now, I know to upgrade buildings, it costs electricity. So if we, let's say, let's say we want to in increase our electricity production, we can click on the solar panel and we can upgrade. It costs 500 electricity, as it says there. Um, but it sort of acts as like two. 
So whatever it was producing, which is 10 a second, it should increase to at least 20, I think. All right, it's done. It's increased. There you go, to 20. You can see it's got bigger as well. So this is like where you're sort of where your upgrading comes in. But we've got to be really quick because we're about to lose like those buildings very soon. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. So you upgrade that. We're going to upgrade the accumulator, although that costs a thousand. So we need to wait for our electricity to fill up. Oh, you can see the amount of electricity we're producing. It's gone down. It's back down to 10 for those. And that's because up here there's moderate clouds. So if you've got clouds, there's not as much sun about. So we've got to keep an eye on the weather. Interesting. Um, right, let's keep upgrading. We've got we've got quite a lot of electricity going on, although we don't produce any at night. Now, since everything's full as well, I think what I might do for my next upgrades, I might upgrade the warehouse, the well, all that sort of stuff. All right, so the next upgrade, we got to develop some technology. So if we go to the bottom right, we have technologies down here. We can spend electricity on unlocking these so we can get a lightning rod, which decreases the chance of lightning causing a f What? There's lightning and it causes fire. I didn't know that. Well, there's this one which increases water pump performance by 10. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll have some of that. Thank you. So we've developed that technology now. I may as well do the lightning rod as well, just in case we get striped. Um, right, to go to the next era, we need 4,000 copper. So let's increase the warehouse capacity. So I'm just upgrading that. Uh, only 250 electricity to do that. So I may as well do the other one as well and probably a well or two. Uh, we only have, oh man, we only have 15 seconds left until the tide comes in. And then these buildings are very much at risk. We've got, we've got to be quick. We've got to be quick. Uh, you can see we can now store 4,000 copper, so that's good. What I might do, I might upgrade my copper mine to upgrade that. Oh man, the tide has come in. These living courses, they're now on the beach. They are literally on the beach. That is not good. Um, so what I probably should do just to make sure we're covered is maybe upgrade some of these living quarters. We've definitely got the electricity to do that. So if I upgrade like three of those and then we're making lots of copper. We're nearly at 4,000, which means we can go to the next era. All right, here it is. 4,000 copper. Move to the next era. The expansion era. Ooh, expansion-y. All right, so we've got to build underwater mining shafts. Yes, there's underwater deposits and mainly they're lead. And that is what we need to build the false land. So we're going to get that lead on the go. I'm probably going to try and get another one on the go over there. Because the quicker we can get lead, the quicker we can build false land. And maybe we can save our town from being destroyed by the sea. And there we go. We are making lead. So down here, we now have a defenses tab. Look, for a thousand lead, we can build artificial ground. That's quite a lot of lead. Um, I might upgrade... Yeah, I'm upgrading that one. Does it still... Oh, it still mines while it's upgrading. That is fantastic. It does cost 2,000 electricity, though, so it's going to take a little bit. I think whilst I'm here, I'm going to get another underwater mining shaft on that lead deposit. Lead is going to be key for a little bit. All right, come on, electricity. Get to 2,000. There it is. All right, let's upgrade that one. And then do we have enough lead? We do have enough lead. So how these work, you literally just, like build on the water and it protects everything behind it so if i build one there that is under construction and you should see the land sort of surrounding it won't be beach anymore so the land that that building is on there can you see it's now grass it was beach right we've got another one to go there so keep an eye on that building there that should turn to sand that should turn from sand to grass ready nice there it goes that means it's protected so we've just gotta we just gotta try and protect our base basically um, I should probably do like the front as well. So I'll do there and I'll do another one there. Can you see there's there's the, an underwater deposit there? If I build on that, that literally the deposit comes through the false land. So you can still mine things if you do that. No need to worry too much. All right, let's keep building these false lands because that is going to save our ass. Right, I didn't actually get this far in the demo, so I'm not sure what's going on after this. But let's see what we've unlocked. We've unlocked ooh, a water filter. Produces water by filtering ocean water. So I'm guessing that just means rather than a well being like on the land, we can build like in the water. So I guess we'll build one of those over there just in case we lose some wells. And oh no, we got 25 seconds until the land shrinks. Uh, do I have time to build more defenses? One there would be useful. I don't know if that's going to build in time. Got 10 seconds, nine. Yes, I think we've done it. I think we've done it. I think we've protected at least that. We haven't protected that one. Oh dear, everything has shrunk big. To oh, I've lost my... Oh, I didn't know that happened. I've lost all that fortification. <laughs> oh no. 
So we have to build them every single time. Oh, man. Okay, well, I can upgrade my accumulator again. So let's do that because then we can store twice the amount of electricity. Because to upgrade these mines again, they need 4,000 electricity. Now, I'll tell you what, actually, I might just keep doing the mine, like new mines. So there's lead over there. Is that lead over there? Yeah, we'll have some of that. We'll have some of that. So I think I'm mining every bit of lead on this place. Oh, our, our accumulator is done, but it only stores 3,000 electricity. Okay, so we need to build more accumulators. So let's shove one there. We'll keep fortifying. So around there, around there. Oh man, we're really going to need some more electricity. Can I upgrade these? Yes, I can. A thousand electricity they cost each. But uh, I think that probably is the key. So more fortification. If I do that, that should protect that area. I might have to do another one there. I really need to do this side as well, though. Oh, more technology. Buildings made of iron cost less. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that and that. Let's upgrade this accumulator. We can store 4,000 at least now. Which means we should be able to upgrade a mine, but I can I can upgrade like these other mines. So this new one I built all the way over here, that only costs 2,000 to upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade it. All right, so you need to go there definitely and another one there. And then we'll just keep doing out the front. Oh, this is, this is bad. Our island is shrinking in a big way. All right, 2,000 electricity, I guess. Let's keep going on the solar panels, keep upgrading them. I might keep building some more as well. And maybe another accumulator. We've got to store it all. Let's upgrade that one. Because to get to the next era, we've got, we've got to get 8,000 electricity. That is a lot of electricity. Particularly when I'm trying to upgrade my mines constantly. Right, nice. These are done. Let's upgrade that accumulator. Upgrade the electricity. Nice, looking good. We have 1,000 lead so we can build that bit. I should probably protect over here as well. I need... Oh, man, it takes so long to get lead. Although we do have... We've got 4,000 electricity now. So let's upgrade one of these to the next tier upgrade oh yes so we've got 30 seconds left where should i shove these i might shove one there i don't think i'm gonna have enough time to protect anywhere else i might oh, we got a thousand i've shoved one there i don't think we can build that in time it's a race of time we got eight seconds come on oh we might have just done it the trouble is we're gonna have to protect all four sides soon enough <sighs> oh no right we've lost we've lost everything again so we've got to get to work on the artificial ground yeah, there's a lot more to protect this time. Thankfully, we do have five minutes. Um, we've maxed out the old electricity, so let's upgrade some stuff. I've got to remember to keep upgrading. And of course, keep building my defenses. So one at the back there, one there, and we'll just keep going round. Right, so to upgrade this accumulator, we need 2,000 electricity. So yep, let's do that. And then I think we should be able to store 8,000, which means we can go to the next era the trouble is we're we're so under the cosh. Like this water is coming in everywhere. I really need to upgrade my mines. What do they cost again? 4,000. It's so much electricity. I tell you what, as a, I may as well just keep building. I don't know why I'm not building these. They only cost copper. There you go. I've just built loads of them. I probably should have done that a long time ago. Oh, it's bloody, it's bloody cloudy because it's raining. Damn it. I'll tell you what, actually, if I build, I'm an idiot. I should be building more living quarters because that gives me more miners, which means I can mine lead quicker. I think this one here, yeah, we can, we've got enough. Oh man, we've got 330 lead mining jobs, but we only had like 30 something miners. Right now I've like doubled it. Oh, idiot. Idiot, Matt. At least now we can build all of these fortifications pretty quickly because that lead number is flying now. All right, I think the key, we need to upgrade the living quarters. We do need to upgrade the wells as well. Because miners use water, so if they're not upgraded, we will have a trouble. We will have a trouble. Is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> but we've got enough electricity to move to the next era. Let's do it. A new era. We can build a shipyard. What does a shipyard do? It allows for the building of ships. Ooh, what a surprise. Okay, let's build one of those. I guess there. No, we need to keep doing the lead fortifications. Upgrade all these living quarters. Oh, no, we've got the alarm. We need, we need more lead. We need more lead. All right, I think that's as defended as we can get now. Oh, we need we actually need water. We're slacking on water big time. So I'm just upgrading all my wells. And then the tide is going to come in. We're in trouble. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, look, we can build an ark. Yes, let's build an ark. Build a ship. <gasps> what do we need for that? Ark. Story related unit. Okay, we're building part of our ark. Or maybe the whole ark. I'm not sure. Maybe that will save us. Is that how we get off this thing? <laughs> Um, right, we're not producing any lead at the moment. So let's build all those. Victory! 
Oh, we did it. We just had to build an ark. Yes. Oh, that was so fun. Congratulations. You managed to escape the sinking island and complete the first level. Oh, I didn't realize that was the aim of the game. That makes sense now. I was sort of wondering, like, do I just keep going forever? Like, building false land, losing it. Oh, we built an ark. And now we've unlocked chapter two. Well, I think we probably leave that there for today. But if you enjoyed that, push the like button. Maybe we'll try chapter two and see what it's all about. Oh, what a cool little game, though. Thanks for the key, by the way, devs. Very kind view. Really enjoyed it. Right, and on that note, peace, love, and flooded islands. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.